I want to start out today's homily by telling you a story that's probably not going to paint me in the best light. Now, in high school, I was a rule follower. My parents said something, I followed the rules. I did what they, were to what they told me to do. I respected their wishes. And then everything changed. I turned 18. I became an adult. I felt like I was free. And I felt that I didn't have to follow the what my parents said anymore. So there's this one night that I go to watch a movie at a friend's house. There's a bunch of people there, and we're all watching the movie, but I fall asleep. Probably from staying out too late every night. But everybody goes home and leaves me sleeping. Even the people that rented the apartment, they went to bed and let me sleep. A kind gesture but they didn't know my family's rules. I didn't let my mother or my daddy know where I was. My daddy drove around my hometown of Cape Girardeau all night long, up and down every street looking for my car. He found that car and then he went home. I woke up, it was morning. I knew I had to go home, but I was so afraid to go home because I thought, I'm gonna see Jesus today. I'm gonna be in that much trouble because I was a rule follower. I went home and found not anger. I wasn't yelled at. I wasn't grounded. I saw this disappointment in my father's eyes that thankfully I've never seen again. But it was disappointment nonetheless. Daddy didn't ground me. Daddy just said, I was worried about you. I wanted to make sure that you were safe. Please let me know where you are if you're going to be late. If you look at the gospel, I would imagine Jesus probably had that same look on his face to the disciples, to the teachings that he was telling them. Because he says, does this shock you? This is saying it's hard. Will you accept it? Some of them don't. They leave. He then turns to the 12 disciples and says, do you also want to leave? Peter then replies, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. It was change, and change sometimes can scare us because we're human beings. We don't like change. We have routines. Some have more routines than others. But change makes us ask ourselves, what's going on when the world's being turned upside down? And looking at the last 18 months, we can all relate to that. When the world is turned on its head, you're getting your groceries delivered to your door, you're staying at home, 
there's all these pickup services now that there weren't before. Stores are closed. Uh, concerts are canceled. Schools are closed. It's a change that was difficult to accept for us. Just like many of these disciples that were following Jesus could not accept. It was new teaching to them. They had never heard this before. But Jesus, it is the spirit that gives life while the flesh is to no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. Let me go back to my own self. We have to have that spirit and life out in the community. My day job is a special education teacher in a psychiatric hospital. I can promise you that no two days are the same. It is a reminder that change for us as human beings are hard. Hours can be long. And those of you that are out in the workforce have seen help wanted signs everywhere. Those of you that aren't in the workforce anymore and have retired can see help wanted signs everywhere. New people come and go. In my world, new students come and go. But there's one steadfast thing that I hold on to. That is that my faith brought me to St. Stan's Floss. And it is that spirit and life that I accept that Jesus is. And I get that right in the Eucharist. I ask myself, shall I go as Peter did and ask that question? Master, to whom shall we go? That holds true for us today. We have the choice to not be here. We have the choice to do other things and not accept the teachings of Jesus. But we're here because Jesus is both spirit and life. And back to those changes. In the last year and a half, I never thought I'd see a video of me on Facebook. I never thought Mass would be on Facebook or Mass would be recorded. But it is now. It's a change. Jesus gave us teaching. And Jesus has both spirit and life sends us forth as we go from t here today. Remembering the, the spirit and life and the Eucharist we are about to receive. Amen.